So now we do some networking again, right, Bernard? Right, but not the management one. We did that. All right, we're talking about uh, the compute network, which is for our virtual machines, right? So we are, this is the more performant, as you could see from the throughput. We are using the 25 gigabit Mellanox uh, ports for that. Um, and we are creating also a set switch for this. Um, Anything special or an additional thing that you want to mention here, Carsten? Yeah, uh, in a production environment, you usually have multiple switches, so two for the mm -hmm. two ports. So one port is connected to one switch and the other port to another one. Um, with the set switch, we have only one teaming mode that is switch independent. So we can't do LACP or either, either channel um, the switches don't know that uh, these two ports are going to the same host mm -hmm. hyper v is handling everything here so um, that's important and again in our environment we use uh, vlan tagging for the mm -hmm. vms so that the mm -hmm. vms can be in different vlan ethernet networks uh, they have to present the Ethernet packets with a VLAN tag. So the switch ports have to be in trunk mode or tagged mode. It depends mm -hmm. on which window you use. So let's switch, uh, let's switch to my screen. <laughs> I'm here, I'm logged in and I have prepared a little bit of a script. Um, it's a very small one. Um, here we have our name of the switch uh, that we create, the virtual switch, it's called compute switch. Then we have here our network cards. We use the Mellanox Connect X5 adapters. These are the right. 25 gigabit adapters. The 100 gigabit adapter has, have a slightly different name. We will see that in, I think, the next video. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I do something. I assign these Mellanox adapters to the variable VM switch NIC 1 and 2. Mm -hmm. It okay. is not necessary but I have it in my script. And then we create with this PowerShell command, mm -hmm. a new VM switch, a switch with the name compute switch. We, are, we don't allow a management um, mm -hmm. virtual adapter. We use those two net adapters, VM switch NIC1 name and VM switch2 name. We enable SIIOV. With mm -hmm. that, we get, um, additional functionality in the virtual adapters and we added the command enable embedded teaming to that is not necessary because we have two adapters but if you ever want to create a set switch with only one adapter you have to add this because if you use new vm switch with only one adapter it will create the classic switch mm, and we okay only want to have the set switches in our Azure Stack HCI environment. So this is just that you know there is this uh, uh, option. So now we'll run it, create VM switch. And we get a little bit of an error. The parameter is incorrect. That's so nice. Which one? I think you need to uh, save that one again. Uh, you didn't save that one. Okay, we save it and we do it again. Thank you, Bernard. So people see it's live. Yeah. Okay. So I will uh, I will ask PowerShell for the VM switches, and we should now have two. Right. We have Perfect. our management switch with the two one gigabit adapters, and our compute switch with the two twenty five gigabit adapters. Okay, so now we would be ready to, you know, if we would have a cluster already up and running, we could create virtual machines sitting on that compute switch. Okay, exactly. Okay, so that's good for the VMs, but now we need to uh, go ahead and do also something for our storage adapters. So uh, I think this is a, a, a longer setup. Um, therefore, we do it, I think, in another video. Of course, we do it in another video. See you there.